Ah, good afternoon. So I'm here with my Mauser K98. This is a 0.22 uh, underlever Springer. Uh, I've got some JSB Expresses and I'm going to take five shots at a 15mm target at 36 yards. Um, at the uh, upper left hand circle. Um, this is a very basic scope. This is an Atom 27 by 28 It's a real cheap scope, under 30 quid. Um, so it's not the best glass. It seems to hand, uh, handle the Springer okay. So we're just going to zoom in, and there's also four paint balls uh, to the right of that target as well. I'm going to try and knock that off. I've got a rough idea of the holdover. Okay, so the first five will be at the upper left hand 15mm circle, and then four at the, uh, at the paint balls and see if we can knock them off. So here goes. So just shoot me off this, uh, this rest. So it's semi rested. Real time, you see how this group, like I said, this is 32 and a half meters out, just over that 36 yards. Oh, here he goes, first shot. Very basic um, reticle on this as well. So, uh, the guesswork really. One. A bit breezy down there, got some wind blowing from, from the right. Struggling with my breather a bit. I do have a bit of a breather there for that fourth shot. Right, let's try and knock the paint balls off. Uh, there's these. They're very basic scope, so the reticle, it's a bit of a guesswork, it's somewhere in between the two lines. And uh, we'll see how we do. So we'll go for the left hand paint ball first. Well, I've knocked it off. Then we've skimmed it and it's off. So that's one. Uh, I think 
Yeah, I'm looking sure not the other one off. I don't think I actually hit that. Unless I clipped it. I completely pulled it, but I don't think I pulled it because most of my shots aren't going that wide. Probably bounced off the, the, the trap on the back and knocked it off. So we'll have another crack at that number two. Yep, I think I've got that. And the final one. And we'll be able to replay the video and see how, how they went. Pretty good camera this. Tends to show a lot of detail on playback. That one. Let's have one more shot. Let's have one more shot of that. I don't think it was too far away, but like I said the wind's up a bit down there now. actually so yeah so not too bad for a cheap scope so let's just zoom this out so that's 36 yards out so let's just pan around a bit so yeah so the Mauser K98 Springer it's a Diana Mauser it's an under lever so you've got a lever there you can pop to cock it Got a gate here, pop your pellet in, just like the 97 and 77. Um, yeah, very cheap scope. Uh, it seems to be re reasonably accurate, but it's not a, a, a decent reticle. It's basically got a vertical line and some bars, and they're not even like mill spacing uh, or uh, MOA, so it's just a, a bit of a guess of where to aim. But that's 36 yards out, so um, yeah, this rifle, I think if you put a, a, a really good scope on it, and um, also you have a deep, <laughs> good breathing, like myself. Uh, yeah, I think you'd easily do you know, pretty good. I don't know if you can actually see the wind. Uh, good afternoon, I'm here with my Mauser K98.22 uh, cal on the lever, and I've just had a 36-yard 30, a shoot outside. I'm just gonna run through the target. So this is the target I shot at, uh, 36 yards. Uh, five shots because the uh, the Mauser K98 only had a five shot magazine. So anyhow, I shot this group here. Uh, I think it was one, two, three. The four shot I really struggled with, and even though I was trying to control my breathing, I still hit it over here, which is the only flyer really. And then I think the final shot went there. So what you got? You got a group of three, a uh, 13 millimeter group, and then you have got a group. So the four shot makes that a 20 mil group. Which, yeah, I think for me is pretty good. It's a very cheap scope, so there's no actual clear aim points on the scope at all. So it's quite a guesswork. Uh, this was the actual uh, previous video at 25 metres, so that's a five shot group. That's a nice 10 by 13 millimetre group. Um, that's 36 yards, 25 metres. And I also shot a 30 yard group as well, and I've got five shots there inside a 14 millimetre group. So, yeah, so. It shows that the actual rifle is accurate. Uh, the scope is very cheap. I said it's not particularly brilliant, but it sort of suits the rifle. So I think I might leave it on actually, provided it holds a zero. I shall probably leave it on for a while. And if it does start to give up its ghost, I shall probably look at putting a maybe a small hawk on it, maybe a two seven by thirty two or a four by thirty two. Uh, yeah, but this is uh, set to six times mag, so shooting at six times mag. Uh, with uh, with a very basic reticle, basically you've got a vertical line, a cross line, and then some little bars, and there's no actual clear aim point. So that was really pure guesswork, and it was actually uh, gusty at times as well. So there's a bit of me, a bit of wind, and a bit of the scope, all chucked in. But that's uh, that proves the right. The rifle is definitely accurate. 
no doubt about that. Yeah, put it on, put a, a, have a better scope on it. And if you don't have any breathing issues like myself, you're, you know, you're quids in. So, if you like the little video, thanks for watching.